All right, guys, uh, Jim and Casey here today. Um, happy Mad Puck Monday to you guys. Today we're going to go over the uh, scepter, and I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Jim, who's going to explain it to us for us. Hey, guys. So uh, our scepter jump pack was developed as a it was a base model off of our one-day assault pack. So it's going to look very similar to it, right? So here it is uh, uh, by itself, and here it is rigged up for a weapon. So the whole idea for the scepter pack was, as all you guys with units that jump um, with combat equipment, your the latest last 10, 15 years is you're jumping with on the side, which is a longer than that, or you're jumping a, a belly uh, mounted, right, with your belly band slung, um, and that's as ready as you could get. So the issue is when you land, it takes more than a couple minutes for you to get your weapon out. And what we wanted to develop was uh, based on a requirement was as soon as you land, all you got, whatever you could do to get that weapon out immediately. And the pack that we developed, you could actually, under canopy, you could actually pull our handle and you have your weapon slung or on a single point, pull the handle and your weapon drops on your sling. So it is ready to go immediately while you still have your shoot on. Uh, so this is it. So for the one day assault pack, uh, right here, uh, this is just about a two pound bag and what we did is uh, we lightened it a little bit. We took out the off the Nalgene uh, bags on the side and we invented this new uh, streamlined weapon holder, right? Um, and you can see right here is kind of like uh, uh, this holds this uh, uh, release cable. And it come, the cable comes all the way to the bottom. So once you pull this handle, which we'll show you, uh, all these sides, this whole front flap comes down. And also releases these um, tightening straps. So of course, all we got is a, a blanket in here, but you can put a lot more stuff in it. And then you use these to tighten down your weapon. Um, the other thing that we did for this jumpable pack is on the back, which I'll use this one, is you don't have this on the uh, one day assault is that we have these attachment points right and these go are continuous around the pack to the other side so it's not just sewn in right there it's a continuous loop and these are designed to go on your d-rings right mount it so it's just like that we also added two pieces uh, this uh, strap right here this is where your nav board goes, the back of it. So it slides in like this. And then on the bottom, it would go in between uh, this uh, three inch strap and a, a lock in that, like that. So we have it rigged up, the weapons across, your nav board is right here, right where you want it, right where you need it. And when you're ready to go, you just pull this handle and your weapon drops on your sling. Once you get on the ground, all you need to do, this uh, handle is like about 34 inch cable, but it's on a lanyard and uh, attached to 550 cord and it's uh, tucked into this little pocket right here. So it's all nice and neat, there's no um, hanging cords. So once you pull that, uh, the flap goes down, you land, all you gotta do is take this handle, put it in here or put it in this pouch, and then you have these two snaps. To put your um, flaps back up, you just snap these flaps. And then you still have your salt bag with whatever gear you had in it, whatever water and food, you need it for the, the, uh, the op. Now it goes on your back and you walk off. So you don't need a cache of this bag or anything. It's part of your op gear. And it also does something a little bit extra by carrying your weapon. So it's going to be a little bit difficult to show you, um, but I'm going to put the sling on. This is a very simple sling, but uh, so this would be mounted to me, right? And Casey, um, so when I pull this flap, these things are going to be a little bit tighter, so I'm going to hold it nice and tight. Your weapon's right there. So again, this bag would still be on you, but your weapon's uh, slung on you, and then you can uh, 
use it while you need it. It's accessible. And again, snap the snaps on both sides. Throw up your cord, stuff it in the pouch or in here. You don't need to re rig this, this bag. And then you got your backpack ready to go. This bag weighs 1.9 ounces, so a little bit lighter than the one day assault bag, but it holds the same amount of stuff. So it still holds your uh, PRC 117G radio if you need that, and then uh, any other gear you need. So, questions? Uh, any questions, guys, for, uh, for Jim and I? Um, retail price, we have it online at uh, $600. And it is made out of the ghost material. So the other thing that we're, we have is we have in development a Scepter Heavy, which is the same design, except a little bit wider, has a bigger front pouch. And by that holds, again, your 416, but also holds your uh, Mark 46 or Mark 48. And that was a requirement we needed to meet to get the guys that are carrying the AWs. So we have the, the scepter and the scepter heavy, which we don't have to show right now. All right, guys, any more questions for us? No questions. Well, again, thank you guys for joining us today on uh, Matt Bach Monday. Um, next week is Memorial Day, so enjoy your weekend. Uh, have, spend time with your family and remember those who fought for us. Hey, thanks, guys.